Friday, the 24th of November. Black Friday, everyone. Um, I hope you've done your shopping. <laughs> uh, I'm on my way to see mum and dad. They came back from my sister's yesterday. So I haven't seen them for about a week. Uh, so I'm just nipping over this morning just to uh, have a quick visit, a quick social, a quick say hello. And also just to see if they need any shopping, um, any emergency stuff to last them over the weekend because um, Ian's away this weekend. Uh, is that his last steampunk show? Excuse the bump. There you go. Um, is that his last steampunk show of the year this weekend? He's at the Space Centre, the National Space Centre in Leicester. Um, and this is, excuse the bump again. Um, it's the last one of the year, but also it's the last one that they're doing at this venue. Um, after this one, they're not doing anymore. So, um, and it's one of his favorite ones. So he's a bit sad um, that this is gonna be the last space center. Steampunks in space is what they normally call it. So it is, um, he's looking forward to it, but he's not, if you know what I mean, because he knows it's gonna be the last one. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be my Friday. Um, so he's gonna be setting off at about 1.30ish, so I'm nipping over to mum and dad's early, um, obviously giving them a chance to, to get up <laughs> and get dressed before coming over. Um, so I'm gonna go and do a little bit of shopping first. Um, and then just as I get to the supermarket, I'll give them a ring, see if they need anything. And then I can just take it round. So that's my plan for this morning anyway. And as it was Thanksgiving in the US yesterday, I hope all my uh, American friends and viewers and subscribers had a thoroughly enjoyable day. Good morning, everyone. Ian here. I had a great good night's sleep last night at the premiere in Leicester. Um, had a great meal last night with Leslie Ann and Robert and Karen and Greg. It was great. I had a lovely time. Poor Karen this morning has got to go and get a new tyre. She had a puncture on the way, so she's got a space saver on. The lovely man from the RAC said, don't go home with that tyre, get a new tyre, uh, because she can only do 50 miles an hour on it. 50 miles an hour is not bad, but she's got quite a long way to go, so she's going to get a new tyre this morning. So I'm just ready to set off. I'm waiting for Robert. I'm taking him in. It's very complicated. Helen has got another show this morning at the Little Village Hall. So I'm with Robert today, going to Team Books in Space, and here he is now, and I'll see you when I get there. Bye for now. I have arrived at Steampunks in Space. It's very cold out there this morning. In fact, it's very, very, very chilly. It was Dee in the background there. Good morning, Dee. That's lovely, Dee. Um, I've come across a lady I've not seen before. She's called Sylvia, and let me show you what she makes. It's truly amazing. Powertex Resin Mixed Media. These are beautiful. I'll turn the camera around so you can have a look. So this is Sylvia. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning. And this is what Sylvia makes. Aren't these up? Absolutely stunning. Look at those. I just can't get over how delicate and beautiful. Now look at, look at the detail, the dry brushing on there. And the prices are so, so reasonable. So there is a tutor for Powertex. Powertex is the, is it resin based or is it plaster based? It's a fabric hardener. Fabric hardener, it's this. So it allows you to make fabric solid. Like if you've got too much starch on your husband's underpants, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at those. Absolutely beautiful. I like this one with the portal going down into the portal. Look at that one. Look at that. Just, the stall is so beautiful. There's so much stuff on here. And it's just absolutely unbelievable. Super. Thanks, Sylvia. Thank you.
Well, this is Hillary. Hillary makes beautiful, beautiful jewellery. Wire work. Am I right, Hillary? You are, yes. Yeah, wire weaving. Wire weaving. Look at the fineness of the work on there. Yeah. You can hear Andy, they're talking about cats. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I like the one with the eye. Oh, yeah. That's my favourite piece. Oh. I make loads of those. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. Look at the bangles. And bracelets. Would we live probably what? Like five miles or so away from each other? And yet I hope we only ever see each other at events. Like miles away. Yeah, so the first I've got friends who live about four miles away and I I see them once a year at Christmas. And then my dear is close to Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And here we are. So, oh, two of the regulars. And a great of those from Chris. And here's me today. Um, all set up. I've got a double depth table today. I've made a display stand for my pins. There's my machines at the back. There are the new push out of balls. The dials, the large dials. And then all the personal time collectors and also the personal satellite navigation systems. So yes, and all set up ready. Not putting the, the, the power onto all the little machines yet, but yes, it's going to be a good day today. It's a very full room. So any time, it's going to get really busy in here. So I'll speak to you later. First signs of a ground frost last night. So, does that mean we've got colder weather on the way? <laughs> Although, you never know it today because the sun's out. Look at that sky. It's almost like a summer's day. It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Um, all's quiet, Ian's still away, won't be back until this evening. The boys are resting, as in fast asleep, because they had a long walk this morning. Um, so then they've been absolutely no trouble today whatsoever. Um, they've only come to ask for cuddles and play with teddies a couple of times. So pretty much has been a quiet day for me today. So much so that I have been able to actually sit and work out the size of the journal that I want to work in for next year's um, Mission Inspiration projects or just like a general um, journal that I wanted to design specifically for next year. Um, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. So I said in last Saturday's video, which was yesterday <laughs> for me, um, but for you it was last Saturday, um, that I was going to work out a, a new kind of like journal kit, um, the right kind of size. And I've done it and I've produced my first prototype. So the size that I'm go I've gone for, for my journal preferred working size. So I did say I liked eight inch by eight inch journals, but sometimes small is better because people you know, always say that, you know, they find big pages or big journals daunting to fill. Um, so smaller is quite good too. So I thought, well, the smallest kind of size that you can go for really is like six inches. That's just a, one of those little flip-flop journals that I made. Just a three one this time, a three-fold, just a Z-fold one. Um, so six inches, which seems to be a handy kind of size. So I thought, well, what about an amalgamation of the two? How about six inches wide by eight inches deep? 
Ta-da! So that's what I've done. So those are the two sides of the journals. Now, obviously, six by eight, you can pretty much just get um, here in the UK or anywhere else that uses the, the, the metric system, get an A4 sheet of paper and fold it in half. And that will pretty much fit, it says. You might just have to trim a little bit off the top. Um, if you're in the state, eight and a half by 11 would also fit. So that's kind of a good kind of in between it for both. Um, spine wise, um, I thought, seeing as you know, I'm going to be doing this as a a traveller's kind of thing, I'd give you guys a choice. So in the kit with those two covers, there's also a 38 mil or an inch and a half spine which obviously goes all the way up but i've also given you two sets of holes if you want to stitch two signatures in but if you want to do the travelers you can also use um there's two sets of divots if you like at the top and the bottom um for travelers but if you want to go bigger i've given you a two inch one as well so you've got a a space for putting three signatures in if you want to or um, just one elastic and then do the three signatures from that or you could do three smaller ones or you could fit up to nine thin ones in there if you wanted to so you can actually do either of those so you get both of those two size spines in with the journal covers and just for good measure I've thrown in one of those label plates as well a wooden label plate that you can stick on the front and write in it, you know, my journal, keep out kind of thing. Um, so they're going to be, well, if you're watching this now on the vlog, then it's there. These kits are now on the website, ready to purchase now. And while I'm saying that, um, thank you to everybody who put in orders last night for the six inch and the eight inch um, circle journals too. Um, they'll be going out in the post ASAP. Um, I don't know whether or not for international customers like the for the US, Canada um, and like Australia, I don't think they're going to arrive in time for Christmas now. Um, but certainly here in the UK, um, last post for Christmas isn't for another week or so. Um, so there's still time to get those in for Christmas if you're here in the UK. So that's it for me for today. Um, I'll see you all again later. It's Monday morning, 27th of November, and it's raining. Uh, it's been quite nice all weekend. It's been clear, but cold, but this morning it's decided to rain. So obviously um, it's warmer than it has been. So yeah, and it's turned into rain. I don't think the boy... <laughs> I take it you're going home? Yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah, because they're not interested. I might just walk up there a little bit. Okie dokie. See you in a bit. <laughs> As you can tell, that was Ian with the dogs. Um, yeah, with it, with, it, with it raining, they do not want to be out. Even though they've got the coats on, they do not want to be out at all. So. He's just turned around and gone back again. Um, he only left five minutes before me. The little, the definite little homeboys. <laughs> they certainly don't like going out in the rain, but then I don't think there's many dogs that do like going out in the rain. So anyway, as I was saying, um, it's Monday. So I phoned mum and dad this morning. Um, they want a few bits and pieces, shopping wise. Um, bread, potatoes milk um, but it's only to last until Wednesday um, because I'll be taking mum if she's well enough I'm saying if she's well enough because she's not really well this morning but um, yeah so just enough to keep them going until Wednesday um, like I said mum's not very well at the moment she has a sore throat um, which which she's had for about a week 
um, but she's just been um, taking sore throat lozenges, sweets, if you like. Um, but she's run out of those this morning, so I have to pick some more of those up as well. So I'll see what she's like. I'll assess the situation when I get there, see whether or not it's, you know, it warrants getting the doctor in or anything. I'll let you know. So it's Tuesday, 28th of November. I was just checking the date. <laughs> and I've had, well, it's just gone a quarter past five in the evening. And I've had one of those days today. <laughs> Where um, I've had constant interruptions again. Um, I've had phone calls from Virgin Media trying to get us to re-sign up for our contracts for, for next year. I've had phone calls from O2 pestering me because my phone contract is due for renewal and I'm due an upgrade for my phone. Woohoo! Um, and other day job kind of phone calls and that kind of stuff. Um, I've also um, been prepping today or trying to prep today. Um, Ian and I are doing another open day at Indigo Blue on the 2nd of December this Saturday. Um, and I've only just got the prep kits. Um, so I've got to, I'm doing some, um, we designed, in and I designed some journals for them. Um, how big are these? Uh, six inch journals with um, the Victorian fretwork panels on the front. Um, and they've asked me to demonstrate those this weekend. But, well, it's just one day, it's just Saturday, but it's, it's from 10 till 4 with an hour's break in the middle for lunch. Um, but you can't just sit and sew <laughs> pages in. So I've said, you know, I'm gonna need to do some journaling in the journals. So, um, yeah. So I've been trying to work out what to do because it's different people are scheduled to sit with you throughout the day. So it's like one group of people per hour. And I can't do the same thing every hour because you know, I'll be making, what, four or five journals throughout the day. Well, I suppose I could make four or five journals throughout the day. Um, but it's just, what do you do with them afterwards? Yes, I can hear you already. Sell them! <laughs> Possibly. I'll see. Like I said, I've been trying to prep, uh, work out what kind of things I'm going to be using. Um, I wanted to use some of their um, flake that they've got. Um, I also want to use some of their... Um, gilding gum with their luscious powders as well um, but i also want to use the vivids as well um for doing watercolor backgrounds onto their um their watercolor cardstock um as part of it there's some cotton rag cotton rich rag uh, watercolor cardstock to go in the journal actually well the journals were made specifically for that that rag so um so I want to do some stuff watercolouring on that as well. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, it's been one of those days today where it's just been interruption after interruption um, and that kind of stuff. So I don't feel as... And I have got stuff done today. I have achieved things today. So, you know, that's good. Um, but not as much as I wanted to. And I don't feel as though I've achieved anything today. So, <laughs> But one of Ian's Christmas presents has just arrived through the post from you know who, um, which is something he's been after for ages. Um, and I can't show you what it is because he might be watching the vlogs, but it's um, who's one of his favorite composers. So yeah, and he hasn't got that one. So that's going away for Christmas.
just turned that Mendelssohn off. So it's Wednesday morning. It's the 29th of November. So shopping day. Um, I think I mentioned earlier in the week that mum wasn't feeling all that bright when I went on Monday. Um, I've just called this morning to see how she is, to see if she's feeling up to going shopping this morning. Um, and apparently, Dad just said she's still feeling a bit under the weather, but she still wants to go shopping. So obviously, she's not she's not that bad. <laughs> if she's still wanting to go shopping, then <laughs> she can't be too bad, can she? So yeah, it's one of those really bright winter days today. The sun's out. There's not a cloud in the sky, but it's freezing. Um, every surface has got a coating of white dust and frost this morning. Um, but as it's starting to melt in the sunshine, um, the light's reflecting off all the moisture. So everywhere you go, there's bright reflections and bright flashes of light as the, as the sunlight's reflecting off patches and catching your eye and that kind of stuff. It's one of those really... If you suffered from... Um, scotopic sensitivity or photosensitivity in the like for strobe light it could really really mess you up this morning <laughs> So I'm doing my accounts for November, just making sure everything's ready and right. And I've just given myself a paper cut right on the edge of my finger, just a slit right the way down the edge of my index finger. But don't worry, like Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. I know, it's cold this morning. Eh, yeah, frosty. <laughs> Don't think Nip's sure, he must have seen snow before. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you <laughs>